Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May, May 26th through June 1st. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius. I just want to say thank you to all of the viewers. Thank you to the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you like my energy, subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos so you can be notified when I put out a new post or post a new video. But again, this reading is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 26th through May, I'm sorry, May 26th through June 1st. The time is going so fast, I can't, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give one more shuffle and then I will begin your reading. All right, so let's see. All right, Spirit, what is the over, oh. Your card is coming right out. The Eight of Wands. That's your overall energy. It's the past energy. Okay. Past energy. The Fool card. This is Aries, Aquarius energy. What is the past energy for the sign of Aquarius? What is the past energy for the sign of Aquarius? Oh, okay. All right. The Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. The Hierophant. Taurus Energy. The Page of Wands. What is the current energy for the sign of Aquarius? What is the current? Okay. We have the Two of Wands in the reverse. The Two of Wands in the reverse. What is the current energy for the sign of Aquarius? Cards stuck together. What is the current energy? Okay. For the sign of Aquarius. We have the Ace of Swords. That's your energy, Aquarius. What is the future energy for the sign of Aquarius? Okay. The Five of Pentacles. What is the future energy for the sign of Aquarius? There's too many cards. The moon, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. What is the... Okay, that's it. The six of cups. The six of cups. And... You have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? All right, so right now, you or someone could want to come in with some fast communication with this Eight of Wands. Someone wants to talk right now. They may want a new beginning with this Fool card, or they could be juggling multiple things or multiple people. And with the Ten of Pentacles, Someone could want financial or someone was could have been thinking about or wanted financial and family stability within a marriage with the Hierophant card here. 
could be a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart. But someone could have been thinking of some type of, they could have been juggling uh, multiple things. Could be work. But someone was juggling multiple things to stabilize something within a family. A marriage, because the Hierophant card represents uh, marriage. So this could be a marriage. But right now, you have the Page of Wands. So someone wants to come in to give a message of good news. Or this could be um, related to children or referring to children. Because there are children down here in the card in the future. A boy and a girl. So they could have been juggling things. Or you could be juggling things to bring in success in a family. Someone is not making a decision with this two of wands in a the reverse. They're not making a decision. But they could want a new beginning with the Ace of Swords after some type of adversity. In the future, there could be a temporary hardship or someone could be walking away from another person. Could be a family. Be, and it could be because of a secret with the Moon card. They could want to walk away from a family in the future. Because of a secret. Like someone is walking away from someone. Because of a secret. And with this six of cups. This could be. Um, happiness with someone from the past. Or like. A childhood friend. Someone walked away from someone. Because of a childhood friend. Or a, something with a secret. Something pertaining to a family. Let's, let's clarify this. Someone walked away from something. Because someone was trying to... Someone was uh, juggling things to secure a family. For family. Some type of family stability. And they didn't make a decision, but they want a new beginning. So let's see what's going on. I'm so happy. I've been trying to do these readings since yesterday. <laughs> so, I don't know what was going on. I couldn't edit. I, I don't know. I, but I'm happy that everything is working out right now. So, let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Why is the Fool card here? Okay. The Ten of Wands. So, yeah, someone was juggling work. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? For the sign of Aquarius. Why is it ten of pentacles? Okay. The ace of pentacles. Yep. Work. Someone wants someone's trying to get some money right now. What is the Hierophant? The Hierophant card. Why is the Hierophant? The, the Hierophant card here. Okay. The three of cups in the reverse. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here for the sign of Aquarius? If this sounds like your situation, comment below, please. Okay. We have the death card. Could be done with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. You have the nine of swords. You have the ace of swords. You have one, two, three. Three aces. You have the queen of swords. This is your energy. Why is the moon card here? For the sign of Aquarius. Yeah, someone, someone's getting cut off. Something, something. Let me see. Why is this moon card here for the sign of Aquarius? The will of fortune. Sagittarius energy is here. Pisces. Why is the six of cups here? For the sign of Aquarius. Why is the six of cups here? The sign of Aquarius. Oh, that's too many cards, but I'll take the temperance. That's Sagittarius energy again. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. And then you have the King of Wands here. 
And that is, oh, that's um, Aries. Okay, so, but it's fire energy. So it could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But it's just fire here. All right, so you have the Fool card. So someone was juggling work. Fool card, the Ten of Wands. Someone was working hard to st stabilize finances and a family situation because of a new beginning and something. Like, it could have been a new beginning within a home, a new beginning within a relationship, because you have the Hierophant here. So that's um, a marriage card. So this could be um, a, a marriage or a long-term commitment. And someone may have walked away from or turned their back on a third party because they were working hard for their family. Right now, with the page of wands being here, this person wants to come in with the message. Could be a phone call, um, a text message, and um, an email. But social media but someone wants to come in with a message and they want to come in and give you some good news could be after um a transformation they could be going through a transformation you could be going through a transformation right now but someone isn't making a decision you have the two of wands here in the reverse and they call someone a heartbreak a disappointment left them up crying all night long and with the Ace of Swords, you want a new beginning after some adversity. You have the Ace of Swords here two times. So you're setting off. This is your energy, Aquarius. So you're setting off on a new beginning after. And this is you with the Nine of Swords. So someone broke, could have broke your heart because they couldn't make a decision or they didn't make a decision. So in the future... You have the Five of Pentacles. So there's going to be a temporary hardship or someone walking away from a family or walking away from this relationship. Someone's walking away from someone. Cutting them loose because the Queen of Swords here. This is you. You could be cutting someone loose. And it could be because of a secret or something that's secretive with this Moon card being here. And you want to set out on a new beginning. You want to change. You want something new. Could be dealing with someone with the initials of T, A, R, O. But you want to be happy with the Six of Cups. You want to be happy and you want balance in your life with the Temperance card being here. So, yeah. If that if that's not what you were getting and you're not, if you weren't getting that and you're not getting that, you're going to get it in the future because you're you're cutting something. Something is getting cut off. Someone is going through a transformation and something is getting cut off. Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius spirit? Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius? Okay. How many cards? Two cards. So we have Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meaning, hesitation. So that, when I say you could be cutting someone off, that could be what that hesitation is about. Like you want a new stable beginning in love. You want some type of stability. Camera. You have reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. This could be someone coming back in from the past. Someone wants to make some new memories, but um, they are thinking about past things that happened in the past. But you could be cutting them off right now because your, your heart broke or you're disappointed. But yeah. So Aquarius, that is your reading for the week of May 26th through June 1st. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell 
for upcoming videos. If this video did resonate with your situation, comment below. I'm sending lots of love, light, peace, and healing energy to you and your family as well as the world or to the world. Um, be safe out there. And um, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of this lovely week, and I will see you next time. Bye.